Welcome back to the Upvote channel. What? Common sense? Is actually wrong? You hold your breath if you run out of air while scuba diving. Wrong? Your lungs will explode as you'll float upwards with a lungful of air. And you probably will try to surface anyway, and the air inside them expands. The proper procedure is to scream all the way up to make sure your airways are open. Sometimes, when someone is having a bad day, it's better to just listen and agree rather than offer logical advice. When I worked in spectator event safety, we learned, sports stadia, that when an evacuation is happening, the safest place to go to is the playing field, as it is usually open air and therefore low risk if it is a fire evacuation. However, common sense takes over crowd dynamics and people try leaving the way they came in from the other side of the building. So this common sense trait results in thousands of people flocking into burning buildings. An example of this was the Bradford City Stadium fire. A huge chunk of the crowd headed back into the burning stadium looking for exits despite open air, the pitch, being meters in front of them. Don't go to bed angry. Um, me and my husband ignoring this rule has saved our marriage. Do you know how many stupid fights are caused by being tired? The slower and more defensive you drive, the better. Couldn't be further from the truth. You need a mix of defensive and offensive to be truly be safe, keep traffic flowing, and to prevent bottlenecks. Do not, ever, wait 24 hours before filing a missing persons report. If you have a reasonable suspicion that something happened to someone, call immediately. In crime shows, when they say the first 24 hours are crucial in a missing child case, they're not making it up. Ignore a bully, and they'll leave you alone. No, they just see a weak target. Going outside with wet hair will not make you get you sick. It will make you feel cold as hell though, source, am Canadian, have showered. Common sense says sun isn't out, and it is cool outside, you don't have to worry about sunburns. Worst sunburn I ever got. Just because you're not fat doesn't mean you're in good shape. I've been vegetarian for 15 years. Everyone thinks this means I eat healthy. I don't. My diet is mostly pizza and pasta and whatever microwaves faster than it takes me to eat it afterwards. The harder you brush the cleaner your teeth get. All you're gonna do is cause gum recession. Edit. I guess this is a good platform to share dental hygiene tips. Brush with a soft bristle brush for two to three minutes. Don't do side to side motion make small circles on the surfaces of the teeth. Flick away from the gum line with short strokes and vibrate the toothbrush near the gum line at a 45 degree angle from the tooth. Electric toothbrushes are great they're less technique sensitive and you just hold it over a tooth for 5 to 10 seconds without back and forth motion. Don't stick your toothbrush near your toilet for obvious, yet never thought about reasons. To minimize poop ingestion, stick it in a drawer or get a cover for your brush. Put ice on a burn. Do not do this it can rip the skin do put the burn under cool water immediately. Edit. Lots of people are giving advice in the comments, but cool water is listed on all of the medical websites, including Mayo Clinic and WebMD. Distance makes the heart grow fonder. Psychologists actually show that it's the reverse, which is why LDR are very hard. Out of sight, out of mind is more accurate. Running hot water to pour grease down the sink drain. That water always cools eventually, and usually the same distance down the drain, where it solidifies, creating a blockage. Although it's best to never put grease down the drain, if you run cold water and run the garbage disposal, the grease will solidify when it hits the cold water, the disposal will chop it into tiny pieces, and it will float down the line, creating no blockage. That people are good eyewitnesses. We aren't. Our perception of things sucks. We are prone to so many biases that we aren't even aware of. 
If I grade papers on an empty stomach, I will grade them lower than if I am not hungry. And I will never admit that to be true. Even though it is. Be sure to write in the comments what you think about it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and watch our other videos.